What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Dumont Survival. I'm here with B. Hello. We're on episode 71. And last episode, we got ourselves going the production of Iridium. So, that's going. Um, I do have to keep mainly turning it off because we are not doing so great for power. I did say I was going to make some more solar panels, and I guess I sort of did. Not very well, though. Hey, B, can you sleep for me? Um, I have the high voltage and also a medium and a low because that's all we could really make. We ran out of redstone again. So I went out and started mining to get more. And I was like, enough is enough. It is time that we set ourselves up a better way to get some resources. However, though, it's gonna require a lot of power. And if you look around our base, we're not doing that great for power. Like, honestly, like th these keep staying empty. If we head downstairs, we have our, our steam boiler completely empty. The only thing that's keeping us going is our manual usage of nether stars to create power. That's not good. We don't want to rely on us manually pressing this button. Like between the between the episodes, our AE system went down because we didn't have enough power. So that's a I problem. Panicked. Yeah, we we instantly I panicked. panicked. So we're gonna come up with a solution to that, and I have a pretty good one for it. So we have a mod in here called Big Reactors. Big reactors is, you know, exactly what it sounds like. It lets you make these big reactors that produce a ton of RF. So we're going to make some of these. I'm actually going to make like six of them because power, <laughs> because reasons. So for that, we're going to need reactor casings, you know, to actually make the thing. I'm going to use some of the reactor glass. Here's the recipe for it. So graphite is just smelting coal right here. I if you can smell, you can smell charcoal too. Let's do that since we have all the charcoal. And then uh, the glass is just some glass with the reactor casing. And then you're going to need a re reactor controller. Not too bad, just a diamond. Power tap to get the power. Not too bad as well. Access port to uh, insert the fuel. The fuel is Yalorium, by the way. So you see that it's a world gen. So we've been getting a good bit of it. You know, we have 3,500 or so. So not not too bad. But probably going to need more. But we'll, we'll worry about that. Once we get these up and running, they will produce cyanite after they use thorium. That's like the byproduct. So we're going to need another access port to pull that out. Then in the middle, you need the control rod or the fuel rods with the control rods on top. So there's a few things we're going to need for it. Um, I'm going to teach the system how to make graphite since we're going to need a bunch of that. So if I get myself some charcoal. Throw it in here. And we're actually going to use the induction furnace, which is why I really wanted to get this up before we start doing doing this, because this will make us a lot of charcoal really fast. Or, gra I'm sorry, graphite. Make us a lot of graphite really fast. So now I can head over here and request graphite for days. Yeah, there we go. And you'll see that it, oh, this is just going to start tearing through the, the charcoal. So that's good. So that'll produce us all of that that we need. So we're also gonna want to teach us how to make the reactor casings, which we have a good bit of iron. We've been killing the golems and also our meteors keep giving us a whole bunch of it. Uh, we want reactor glass. Get some real glass. Good with that. Bunch of recipes. <laughs> I actually ran out of nether wart too, so I had to teach our magical crops how to make them. Then we're going to want the controllers. We want the power tap. Access port. Control rods. Fuel rods. Boom. And is that it? Did I get redstone port? There we go. Red, so redstone port will allow me to turn it off. All right, so all the patterns that we could ever want. So going to request now a bunch of this stuff. So I don't know exactly how much I need, so let's just request a bunch of it. It's a bunch of you. Oops. A bunch of you. It's actually going to use up all of it. 
Uh, it's a stack view. Stone port. We're gonna want, I guess, six. Because you only need one per reactor. And here you want 12. Controller, six. Only one per reactor. And then fuel rods. Uh, I'm not too sure. Let's get a bunch of them. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to craft up. I'll quickly show you guys what we've been working on. Did, did a lot of work between episodes. Also, be as the walrus on said. And so did I. Yep. Yep. So, we built this room over here. Looks pretty snazzy. Definitely really snazzy. And we're going to make it even more snazzy. But if you look down here, like you'll see, we have areas laid out for what we're going to build, where, the, where we're going to build these reactors. So, we got six of them laid out. We're going to make them all different. Uh, they won't all be the most efficient, but they'll be different and it will look cooler. So, I mean, this is going to produce so much power that it's not really going to be a huge deal. So, that's what we're going to do. And I want to get something set up for right here because I don't want to have to try and do this. And for that, I'm actually going to get ourselves something from Pneumatic Craft. We talked about before, and we never got to use it, but now... We should be good to make ourselves the elevator. So there's a few things we're going to need for this. We need elevator base. Oh god. Can we make some cylinders? Ten. Go. Hopefully we have enough for that. Uh, compressed iron. Oh. Yeah, I forgot. I never actually set this up to produce the iron. I was, that's what I was going to use this one for for making compressed iron. Um, let's do that real fast. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, begin. So I need one of you. I need a chest. Uh, actually, let's make a crystal chest so we can be fancy. And because I have a whole bunch of diamonds now because I went, went mining. I actually hooked that back up. And you can see I took it off because I don't want to leave it on because that's causing the world crash. But if I take it off, it should be fine. So I went out mining with the bound pickaxe and just completely destroyed the landscape. It was so good. I loved it. All right. So anyways, we're going to uh, place it right here. will be good. Whoa. <laughs> there's, there's a cave down here that <laughs> come look down here, baby, from when you equal traded. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's fine though, because we need some space to work with. So I'm actually gonna put the interface here. Say up, give him a chest. Then I'm gonna want some item ducks. Do we not have any? What impulse? Oh, that might mess something up, actually. Have a bunch of endearing making for certain reasons. Is eight going to be enough? <sighs> Need one more. One more. Okay, we're good. We got enough. Okay, so we can cancel that. Okay. Maybe can you make me a pattern that says one ironing it makes one compressed ironing it? Yeah, that would be that. amazing. All right, so that's that. Now, if we head down here, just don't want to break the pressure chamber. Where are we at? Oh, we should be over one more. There it is. Okay, there's our interface. So we want... We want our... Oh, we're going to need more item ducks. No, they're making them anyways. Okay, so that's a good thing they made. So we want to... If 
people who have one piece of compressed iron. We do not. Okay, so anyways, I'm just going to... Yeah, I need to come into the compressed iron to make it. All right, yeah, so pretty much we're going to have this. I'm going to filter compressed iron here, and that should pretty much work. Put a servo here, probably. And that will mean that whenever the iron transforms, it will automatically be pulled out by the bottom interface, and it will find its way uh, into the back to the interface into the system. So, gonna have the pattern here to say that one ironing it will equal one compressed, and that should work for us. So it will just go up here and drop, drop them in through the top interface. So we're gonna do that off camera, and we'll be back once that's all ready to go, and we're ready to start making the elevator. All right, so I finished up auto crafting for iron and with it I made a kinetic compressor and got a few things together here got two elevator collars, the elevator for elevator bases and a few elevator frames and also the kinetic compressor and a pressure gauge tube because the elevator needs pressure obviously because it's pneumatic craft and that's what it does and we should be good to set this up now so we want this, I think we should only need two. Oh, that's a problem that's a problem <laughs> You're gonna have to come up with a fancy way to hide this. Yeah. It's cold covers, man. Just do it. Well, it needs to run on redstone. No, I mean down here. You just do what you need to do there. Well, I need, yeah. well redstone needs to be along here, so. Yeah. Here, we'll figure. We'll figure that out later. Anyways, so. I need to get pressure into the elevator bases that are going to go in there. So I just need two of these guys. Boom. Okay. Then. Oh, jeez. Run out of room very quickly over here. It's alright though, so we want so we need I guess we can do like a tube there we can do one tube there and then we can do the compressor there, I need my wrench. There we go. Then I need power. I don't want to hook it up quite yet. We're going to need power, then we need to automatically turn off this compressor. So we want you to run on low signal. So now we just need to make it so we can get a redstone signal there at a strength of 8. Have to destroy your ground a little bit here. You're gonna have to work a little bit to make this work. These okay. <clears throat> so should be able to just one, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. Technically work, I think. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So we could put it there. That's not bad. Let's do that. Move these guys and get our pressure tube. Get the compressor again. Needs to be wrenched again. <laughs> oh. no, actually, that won't work. I'm changing it back to the way it was because it, it will work on 3.5. So, whatever. We'll deal with it. Okay. 
Okay, so that goes there, there. there and you go on low signal again and then we need the tesseract main power more redstone receiving energy so that should be going so we should start building up energy or pressure rather then yeah okay redstone will start working beautiful okay so it's working just need to find a way to make it look pretty from below. I think B's working on that right now. But anyways, so now what we can do is give them the particles first of all. Strength. So now what, what you have to do for these elevators is you give them frames. Which is going to be a little bit annoying because they're not very easy to place. For every base, it can go up four. So that right there is maximum. I don't know. I'm trapped. <laughs> so that wasn't supposed to go yet. Uh, can you click on the base? I don't know if you can click on the base. It's responding to the redstone, I think. Anyways, that's an elevator caller. You're going to have to fix this. Sorry. We want this to respond to elevator callers. Should be able to place you down and you down. They're both name floor one for some reason. Not quite sure why. <laughs> Pretty cool though, yeah? Mm -hmm. This is this might not work. <laughs> Press the button. Now I got it. No oh why? What's going on? <laughs> can't see anything. Perfect. There we go. So it works. Uh, you can't name the floors, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, here's your stuff. I think I, yeah, I think you have to do it from the base. We can put speed rate, speed upgrades in here if we want to go a little bit faster. We'll do that four names so oh, hey well I don't know you can see actually reactor okay so that should be good floor two observation nice I like it You might want to get closer. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. They work, though. That's what's important. All right. Now, let's get to work with actually building the reactors, the main reason we're here. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. I, I do like it. As you left it up, jerk. You have a way to call it down. I just broke it. <laughs> okay. So I need to get all the reactor stuff. You, you, you. Need some casings. Which I probably should have requested beforehand. It's okay. So those we'll start making. I'm actually going to want the builder's one. That will help out a lot for all this. Mm, this might take a second. Uh, let's get our wireless access. Hopefully I can reach from over here. Nice. Okay, I'm also going to request a speed upgrade. Request two of them. We'll see. Let's we'll see if we want one or two. Because I do like the dramatic slowness of it. It's so cool. <laughs> Stupid bad. Got it. Okay, so anyways. Let's, uh, let's build this one first. So we're going to want to get our reactor casings and place all these. Should be able to trade these. Oh, no, maybe not. 
Oh, you can't equal trade these. Interesting. All right, well, anyways, so these reactors can be variable form. Um, th these, all these small ones here are seven by seven. So it's seven by seven I've found to be the most efficient build. So they're most the, the most efficient builds. So like as far as pr energy production per fuel. So it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's that. We now need more casings. Nice, okay. Probably gonna need more. All right, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's the frame. Um, you can use reactor casings for all the way around it, but just to make it look pretty, I'm gonna use some glass so I can look inside, and because it will show off the internal stuff that we use. Like I said, we wanna use a whole bunch of different things just to make it look different, add some variety to it. So first we'll get rid of that. <clears throat> and then we're going to get some reactor glass. Yeah, Builders one makes that a lot easier. Oh, I messed this up. I'm the best. <laughs> Counting is so hard sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. So, I should be able to just extend this out one more. Should have known because it should have followed the the caution tape. Okay, all better. So, anyways, do the glass there. Do the glass here. Then a little more in front. We're going to replace a few blocks though, so we do need access to few things. Okay. Uh, we do want casings on the bottom. Okay. And then we want to build the actual internal part now so we need our fuel rods which I don't think I grabbed okay so let's grab those and I'm going to place some like so so we'll have four anyway, four columns and these have to go all the way up to the top and then the very top layer you place control rods so the control rods go through the fuel rods to decrease reactivity. That's the way it works. So what we can do now is in these reactors you want to have you know like conductive materials to help spread heat. Now the, the, the wiki is way better for it. There's just so many materials that you can use. For this one I believe we're going to use what do we decide on for this one? I think cryothium? Sure. Something like that. But we're also going to use some solid blocks so the way I like doing it, uh, it's just personal preference the way I like doing it, is I have blocks here, 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 and here. So just solid blocks. So if any, like, d different metals do way different things. So one really good one is Emderium. So you might have saw that we were making a ton of that. So I'm actually going to see if that, any of that's ready. Ah, good, we have a bunch of it. Except I don't have a crafting table. Good thing we have 48 crafting tables for some reason. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of Enderium. I actually don't even think this is enough. This is nowhere near enough. But anyways, so if you place these in, 
to there. So that's our conductive material. I feel like we're going to need some more. Definitely going to need some more. it up. Okay, so that's a good bit of iridium right there. Definitely gonna want a lot more, like a ton more. Like we actually have Endermen being killed in the auto spawner right now in order to make more Ender Pearls to do all this. Okay, so that's all the Enderium we need for this one. Now, on the top here, there's a few things we're gonna need. Or well, actually. What else we need is we need our liquids along the sides here. So for that, we're going to want resonant ender buckets. So let's make a bunch of those. will probably get used up though because the enderium's using them. Also, speed upgrades. So, real quickly, we're going to. Cancel the 1,000 iridium we have crafting. Okay, so that should start doing that. Um, let's actually head back over here, because I can just wireless, wirelessly access those. Head back down to reactor level. Then here, let's do some upgrades. All right, try now, B. It's pretty good. That's, that's two speed upgrades, so... Mm, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I like it. Alright, so... How's our resident? Five of them? Oh god, nothing just died. <laughs> it's okay, I have a capacitor. Inventory's getting kind of ridiculous right now. So we'll start there, and so the trick is just to fill up, you know, every every top block of it because it will flow down, so that will, that does count for it. So just want to fill all this up. I need a bunch of this. This is why we need a lot of ender pearls. And remember, these are four ender pearls per bucket, so <laughs> it is getting a little bit expensive. You I think I need one more right there. Okay, so that's full now. So, oh shoot, I said. I said we were going to do Jelly Cry with him. <laughs> and then I went and did Resident Ender. Well, I done goofed. <laughs> Alright, I, I want to fix it because I do want to do Jelly Cry with him for this one. Um, Yeah, we'll be back. I'm just going to bucket all this stuff back up and throw it in the system. And I'll come back and start showing you guys how to make the Jelly Cry with him. My bad. Alright, so I swapped out the Resident Ender with Jelly Cry with him now. And uh, I kind of forgot, but... <laughs> Jelly Corothium doesn't stay where it's at, so I actually had to fill up every single source block in here with this. So it took a little bit of time. Uh, we didn't know how to make Corothium already. The system already knew how to make it because it was used for making some cinnabar for us. It was just snowballs with powder, a little bit of redstone, uh, some saltpeter, niter. Yeah. Alright, so that was that. Uh, 
now we can finish off you know the top part of it uh, we need I did put a redstone port on the back here so that's we're gonna use that to control it when, when it goes on one goes off but we're going to need now the power tap which I, kind of, I guess I can't do vertically that sucks so when you could yeah doesn't look like it okay all right, so we need to put the power tap somewhere along the side here. Did you pick that up? It fell in the no, I got it. protein for me. <laughs> yeah, I got it. All right. Uh, we're going to need the access ports. Put. Why does nothing want to go on the top? I wonder if I can wrench these. Nope. Okay, so that's that's not what I wanted at all. So, hmm. Okay, so uh, let me do a little bit of work here. I'm gonna find out where I want to actually put these. All right, so I decided since I do have to go on the side, I'm just gonna do everything on the back. So we have our uh, inlet for Elorium, our outlet for uh, Cyanite, our redstone ports that will be down here, and our power taps right here. So we should just be able to. Cover all this up now. The snow is from the from the cryothium, by the way. It's very cold, so don't don't try swimming in gel cryothium. Okay, so that should do that. And then we need one last thing: the controller. So the controller can go right there, and boom! You can see that the reactor formed. Like all the textures changed. Now I should be able to see all you know its interface. So now all we should be able to, have to all we should have to do now is come in here, give it some eulorium. You'll see it will consume it, consume more. So that's that filled up the the fuel rods on the inside. You can't really see, but trust me, it filled them up. Now we should be able to see that we have our fuel. And if we oh, actually, I want to get one quick thing. I don't know what we do. A few conduits. So I want to run this up to here. This, this this setup will probably get changed at some point, but just for now, do that. I can input there. I'll change these to max. <clears throat> and then now, if we turn this guy on. The more light would move. Activate reactor. You'll see it will start to turn on. And you can see how much RF we're producing. It's getting up there. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. That's actually right around 10,000 RF per tick. That's pretty good because that's all our uh, conduit can transfer. So that should be filling this up you know, at the, pretty much the max that it can. So that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Nice, I like it. Uh, yeah, you can like look at your efficiency, all that. That's determined based on you know all the materials that you have inside. So, like I said, gel acrylic is not bad. Uh, Resin ender is probably better, but we'll, we'll use that one later. Don't you worry. Uh, I do need to build an automatic shutoff for this. So, like, if this is full, I want the reactor to turn off, and also I need uh, import and export buses below to say that. Uh, Whenever or if it needs more yellowium, it will pump it in. If it if it cyanide is full, it'll extract it. So I'm gonna set that up probably between the next two episodes, and we might start working on the other reactors because it's gonna be what five more we're making here, all different things. So we'll we'll probably make those. Then we'll come back next up show and we'll show them off, see how much they're producing, how well it's doing it. Then uh, I think we'll be ready to start using some of its power, and they'll be pretty good to go. So that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're loving the elevator and the reactors. So, like I said, next episode, more reactor stuff. Gonna be awesome. So, be sure to check that out. So, until then, we will see you guys next time. See ya. See ya.